Roberto Batista Aguru versus Yannick Sinner is the first semi-final for the Miami Open for 2021. And it's been an interesting run to the semi-final for both players. RBA entered the tournament as the seventh seed and got a bye in the first round. His second round match was against South African Lloyd Harris, who withdrew before the match, giving RBA a walkover. His third round match against Jan Leonard Struff was a tight three-set contest. And after losing the first set, RBA came back 4-6, 6-3, 6-2. In his fourth round, RBA took on John Isner. And this match went the distance, with RBA finishing off in the tie break in the third set. 6-3, 4-6, 7-6. In his quarterfinal, he was taking on number one seed, Daniel Medvedev. And this was by far Batista Agu's best performance of the week. Beating Medvedev in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. The number 21 seed, Yannick Sinner, came into this tournament with great hope, getting a bye in the first round. In the second round, he took on the Frenchman, Gaston, beating him in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. His third round, he took on the number 14 seed, Hashinov, and after losing the first set, had to fight for the win, eventually prevailing 4-6, 7-6, 6-4. In his fourth round, he took on fellow young gun, Bruce Severi, and was very impressive, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In his quarterfinal, he took on the number 32 seed, Bublek, and again, a straight sets win, 7-6, 6-4. In his quarterfinal match, Batista Agu against Medvedev hit 12 winners and only 15 unforced errors, and converted three out of seven break points, and will have to convert more against Sinner. In Sinner's last match against Bublek, Sinner hit 36 winners and only 30 unforced errors, converted earning three out of nine breakpoint opportunities. These two have only played the one time with Sinner winning that match a couple of weeks ago in Dubai, and it was a three-setter that went the distance. RBA has had the more impressive run to the semifinals, beating a couple of great players, including Daniel Medvedev, the current world number two. Yannick Sinner's had a great 2021, and with the recent win for Sinner a couple of weeks ago in Dubai, he'll be full of confidence of beating RBA. So this is a tough one for me to pick, but I'm going to go with RBA in this one. I think he's been really impressive the last couple of weeks, and this is a title that is wide open for him to win. And his win against Medvedev, super impressive. And I think he can do the same against Sinner. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this semi-final?